Back up, singers. What is good, y'all? Today, we are diving back into the odd ones out, you guys. Listen, I was going through the comments, and y'all told me I had to watch his thoughts on roommates. And I said, Lord Jesus, I used to live with my brother, baby, and he was the worst roommate ever. So I understand. Oh, I ain't ready to see what he got to say, baby. So we finna get into it. We finna get into it. Here we go. No more hiding. No more lying. This is me, this is me, yeah. Alrighty, you guys, so I got the video pulled up, and let's see what James thought is on roommates, honey. You know, I never really understood trigger words until I got roommates. Oh. I hated my roommates, except for you, Isaac. He watches my videos. Oh. oh James, you didn't hate your roommates. You just... Mildly disliked them. Yes, I did. When I first moved out of my house and went to college, the day I moved into my apartment and I opened the front door, this is what I saw. Keep in mind all the buildup that has gone into this moment. First, I had to get accepted into the school, then pick my major in classes. Then I had to find an apartment close to the school and get everything set up there. Then I had to pack everything up into a suitcase, kiss my dogs goodbye, and then be all on my own for the very first time. That's I a lot. I the door to where I'd be living for the next eight months, and this is what I see. Someone sleeping on a couch, he was wearing some bright fast food employee uniform, the TV is on, there's a Halo 5 poster hanging on the wall, the sink, counter, and table is full of dirty dishes, there's a big industrial sized trash can that is overflowing, inside the fridge there is an empty box of Dr. Pepper, a bottle of ketchup, and a jumbo Costco sized pack of hot dogs. Where did all these dishes come what from? What in the Fun world? Fact, those hot dogs were still in the fridge when I left. But the worst thing that was there was there was about a million basketball cards just lying on the floor. I'm not even exaggerating. Here's proof. Okay, so I got a single oh, room because wow. I was like drawing stuff. And I would feel bad if I shared a room with someone and he had to deal with all my drawing stuff being there. And also I wanted to be alone. Looking back, I'm so glad I got a single room because that room couldn't even fit myself. Literally, I could stand in the middle of the room, hold my hands out, and without moving my feet, I could touch the walls of the room. Oh, Maybe just wow. Arms, I don't know. I mean, I could settle for a small bedroom, but what made living there so horrible were the roommates. What I didn't realize oh, is that these boys dang. also got private rooms, so that means that they too were socially awkward and kept to themselves, which you might think is a good thing, but you'd be wrong. <laughs> on the first night of being by myself, I unpack all my drawing stuff and I set it all up, then I turn on the computer and the screen is just black. Nothing was turning on. I tried everything to fix it and it just wasn't turning on. Eventually, I contacted the people who made it, sent it in, and then I got it back working. But during that week while the tablet oh, was being wow. fixed, like, seriously, no joke, that was probably the worst week of my entire life. Oh. I'm being serious. Making comics and YouTube videos was what kept me sane. And that first night of being on my own and my tablet broke, I... I, I cried, guys. I couldn't even eat oh. when I was that sad. I hit rock bottom. I remember just watching Captain Sparkles and Game Grumps highlights all day. But then oh, the day I got yeah, back, I was a drawing machine. I posted a comic the very same day. So let's spend the rest of this video talking about these previously mentioned roommates I had. The first person I need to talk about is Isaac. He was the only one that I like, and he's also the only one I told that I made YouTube videos. 420 so laugh out loud, yes. Yeah. And he said stuff like, that's dope. But you want to know why I liked him the most? Because he did the dishes. Like, he did the dishes. It wasn't just him, okay? I'd probably never become friends with him in any other circumstance. Just to say that he was the cool one. I like him. Hi, Isaac. I miss you. I was looking at Shout this out to you, Isaac. And it was where the old memes are today. And for the after picture for the scumbag Steve meme, it looked exactly like my roommate, who I'll just make up a fake name for, Steve for convenience. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I was roommates with a meme. Just put a fedora on this meme, and boom, that's my roommate, Steve. And it was a very fitting meme, too. This guy wouldn't do the dishes, but he always cooked this ramen thing in the microwave, and would leave this gross juice stuff behind, so then when I would go to oh, use the microwave, uh -uh. I'd get my paper plate soggy. See, that's nasty. You got to have respect for somebody else. You know what I'm saying? We all got to share this stuff. We all got to take care of it. See, uh-uh, I don't even like Steve. Steve. So I would have to check every time before I used it to make sure there was no juice stuff behind. Uh-uh, he's like, so you rude. Watch anime without headphones? Subbed? Anime has a certain sound to it. I don't know if you knew that. It's like normal Japanese, but really emphatically. Luckily, it was usually late at night when he started watching, so I would just have to get to sleep before he started, and I would be all good. James, why didn't you just ask him to turn it down? I did! One Ooh. night, I went into his room, and I said, Hey, man, not you Corey in the house. And you know what? He did turn it down for that night. That night. That one night. See, rude. Nice night. But you know, he was 
wasn't too bad. I would beat him up. He spent most of his time in his room playing video games, and I would spend most of my time in my room drawing. So except for the microwave juice thing, we didn't get in each other's way too often. <laughs> Here's actually a funny story. I love that. When I was filming the part in the vegan video when I crumbled up Oreos over Reese's Puffs, Steve walked into the kitchen and he saw me filming this sugary vegan concoction, and I just said to him, D don't ask. Okay, so here's the roommate that I <laughs> hate it. the most. Ooh. His fake name will be Hunter. He was Ooh. the one asleep on the couch when I first walked in, and he was the one who had collected all those billions of basketball cards. Oh, just dang. basketball cards. And he kept them all in the front room. What's the point of having sports cards when you can't even play with them? I that mean, I part. spend money on Magic the Gathering cards, but that's because it's an actual game that you can play with friends. What do you do with sports cards? I mean, I guess you can leave them in the front room of your apartment. <laughs> Maybe one day your roommate might make a video about it, though. He left his Mountain Dew bottles on the floor. He heard it in public. He'd always complain that Steve didn't do the dishes, but he wouldn't do the dishes either. Ooh. One time I was tired of doing everyone's dirty dishes, so I bought a big stack of paper plates for everyone to use. But Hunter took the paper plates to a party without even asking me, and he didn't even bring them. Oh, Hunter would Hunter would have got cussed out because you. Oh, that's rude. That is rude. Listen, oh my goodness. I used to live with my brother, y'all. I'm going to tell y'all, my brother used to always have his friends over, y'all. And I went to Publix. And if you know about Publix, you know Publix Bakery be the bomb.com, okay? The cupcakes be the bomb. They just be so soft. The ice would just be right and buttercreamy. And I had bought some cupcakes, y'all. It's around Easter time. And I put these cupcakes in the refrigerator. And I went to work. And I came home. And there was no cupcakes in my house. My brother and his friends that ate my cupcakes, when I tell you, I flipped the house upside down. I was punching people, slanging people. Baby, I kicked everybody out. Because that's just, see, that's like something. You just don't take people's stuff without asking. Uh, come press play. But the worst thing this guy did, one day he told me, my ex-girlfriend doesn't want our dog anymore. So it's coming to live here. What? <laughs> so this boy wants to bring a dog what? in an already very small cramped apartment. No. I couldn't believe this. The dog's name was Snoopy and I loved him. Oh. his kennel at night, but one night I was like, hey, Hunter, Snoopy can stay with me if you want. And then, boom, from that day forth, I was the one taking care of Snoopy. Oh, so would no. In my room. I would be the one who took him out for walks, and I fed him slices of lunch meat. What was great was that when I would go into the kitchen and Hunter would be watching TV, he would call for Snoopy. Snoopy! Snoops! Snoops! But he wouldn't come. This dog Snoopy was said no. everywhere. And then one day Hunter said, Hey, do you just want to have Snoopy? I was going to get rid of him. And then I said I would take him. And then later that same week, Hunter moved out. He took all the toilet paper too. What? He basically gave me a dog. And of course I loved that dog. But we lived in such a small space and I was always busy with school and drawing. I knew these weren't the best conditions for a dog to live in. And I'm pretty sure my apartment didn't even allow pets. So I asked people I knew if they wanted Snoopy. Oh. And my grandma got one of her friends to take care of him. So I dropped Snoopy off and I've never seen him since. Oh, most Snoopy. Yeah. There was another roommate who I didn't even mention. He always worked a lot, so I didn't really see him too much. He had an electrical toothbrush. And I think since I was already mad at my roommates, <laughs> when I would be trying to go to sleep and he would start brushing his teeth, I would hear the electrical toothbrush going, Aah. And I would just start shaking with anger, like... Oh, no! Just use a normal toothbrush! Also, I want to thank you all for a million <laughs> subscribers. I mean, as I'm recording this, I don't have a million just yet. But hey, when this comes out, maybe I'll have a million. Who knows? I'm counting my chickens before they hatch. There I know that's right. But the next video will probably be the million one. So, cool. Okay, thanks for watching. Wear your seatbelts unless you're my roommates. Hi, Snoopy. His name is Snoopy. Oh, the dog is so cute. And this video was so hilarious and so relatable. And I am here for it. Period. I feel like I am so late to James's videos, but I love them because they are so relatable. Like, every time I don't want to click play, and what was I? What if the sentence was not for me? Was that okay? Every time I click play on one of his videos, I just fall in love because they are just so good. So if you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed it, honey, go ahead and give it a big old thumbs up and then leave me a comment down below letting me know, have you ever had a roommate, baby? And what was the roommate situation? Did you like it? Because living with my brother, baby, no. Not today, Cletus. Anyways, y'all, if you're not a backup singer, go ahead and become one, you guys. Smash that subscribe button as well as hit that bell to be notified when I upload brand new videos like this. And I'm going to see y'all in the next one. Deuces.